Hey everyone, Ben from Motive here to bring you a video on the first setup of your Reflex Plus. I'm going to walk you through from A to Z, downloading, installing, and configuring the applications you'll need to interface with the Reflex, updating the firmware on the Reflex, and flashing a map. So a key call out is you want to make sure that you have a micro USB cable that has data transfer capabilities. A lot of cables today are charge only, so if you're in doubt, go ahead and click the top right hand corner of the screen now to add it to cart. Or if you're looking at purchasing a Reflex, it is a must-have add-on. The last thing you want to do is scramble on Dino Day for a compatible cable, which could prevent you from completing your tune. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in. So we're going to head over to the Motive website. We're going to go to Support. And we'll just grab the firmware files that we need first. So of course, we'll grab the firmware, firmware bootloader package. And then we're going to grab the firmware that's specific to our reflex. So this reflex is a serial number that's greater than 5001. And then since we're here, we'll grab the tuning files that we need. So we'll grab the XDF that finds the locations within the map, the ADX that allows real time communications to and from Tuner Pro RT and the map that's specific to our application. So in my case, we have 750cc injectors and an N54 single turbo vehicle. So we are done here. Let's go ahead and head over to Tuner Pro's website. What we're going to need specifically is Tuner Pro RT. Now, of course, this is free. Uh, you don't have to pay anything. You can always donate. It is recommended, but not required. And we'll go ahead and install that now. Okay, we're done there. All right, and let's head over to downloads. We're going to extract the bootloader package, or the bootloader application package, and we'll open it up. As we see, it's not showing connected right now. Now, as of right now, I have the USB connected to my laptop and the ignition of the vehicle is off. So on BMW G series, you want to tap the start stop button three times quickly within a second and a half to get in the diagnostic mode. On F series, you tap once and on E series, you also tap once. Now, of course, other vehicles, just ignition on, totally fine. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. As you hear, Windows gives us auditory confirmation, and we could show now it's connected. So I'm going to import the firmware image, and then we're going to go ahead and flash it. It only takes a few seconds here. OK, so once this is done really big, all that you have to do is unplug the USB for about two or five seconds. You can unplug that from the reflex. Plug it back in. We can close out of the bootloader application because we won't need that because we updated the firmware. And let's go ahead and head over to Tuner Pro. As we hear, it already connected to it. That was auditory confirmation. And we can see down at the bottom that a reflex is connected with firmware 6.56, which is the current firmware as of right now. So before we start or do anything in here, let's go ahead and head over to Tools. We're going to go to Preferences, Data Acquisition and Emulation, and configure the plugin component. We want to change the port type to Shared with Emulator. You're going to need that in the future if you want to do any type of bench testing or look at live data. Also as well, we're going to change the view up too. So we're going to go to toolbars and we're going to go to data acquisition and send command. We'll go over that in a later video. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll load the ADX. We'll load the XDF. And we're going to go ahead and load the map. All right, so now we're already connected. You can always double check again by clicking there. And then we're going to go ahead and upload the map. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining and happy tuning.